Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast, Episode 673. Interview with my patient, Ms. Missouri Senior, Darla Bellman. BioBalance HealthCast features conversations about anti-aging medicine. Your host is Dr. Kathy Moffat, Medical Director of BioBalance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging. Dr. Maupin is the author of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about testosterone replacement therapy for women, and Got Testosterone, the award-winning book for men that helps men choose the most effective and safe form of testosterone replacement. These books are available on Amazon or from Dr. Maupin's office at BioBalance Health in St. Louis and in Kansas City. Dr. Maupin's office is currently accepting new patients. Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast. Today we have a very special treat for you. We have one of my longtime patients, Darla Tinker Bellman, who is now the Ms. Missouri Senior for Missouri. She's the winner, and she has all of her crowns to show that she (laughs) is the winner. And she has an amazing story, a story from going from, it's a Cinderella story. And she has conquered everything. I want to ask Darla to tell you a little bit about her travel from coming to see me back in 2010 to now 2024. Okay, thank you Dr. Maupin and thank you because without your expertise, this would not have happened. It very much would not have happened. So uh, about 14 years ago, I went to my doctor and I said, I can't take it anymore. I need to have somebody who specializes in what I need. He gave me your name and number. I came to see you. And that's where it first started. And getting the pellets has been one of the most life-changing things for me. I ended up getting them and enjoying them. My first husband, um, he enjoyed me getting them. It was like <laughs> everything was coming, on, coming to life. And we were able to connect and have a real connection. Unfortunately, he passed away a few years ago, and um, I continued to stay on the pellets. I didn't want them changed. I, uh, I was working, so um, you need a certain amount of hormones to help you think properly mm-hmm. and to do. So we, uh, I continued on them. And um, So just to interject, so you had, I just want to explain how many symptoms she had. And we'll show a picture that she brought me of how she looked. Back in 2014 or 15? Oh, it was maybe? probably 2004, Okay, I'm thinking. Okay, so we'll, we'll post that with this today. But um, So she had, she came with the, we always ask symptoms. She came with no libido, inability to have orgasms, it, um, vaginal dryness and painful intercourse, uh, fatigue, depression, um, memory problems, oh not gosh. being able to kind of yeah. remember words. We've all had that if, if you're over 60. And... Um, Insomnia, which is a terrible thing to have. I've had that in the past. Poor motivation to get up and go. Obviously, that's fixed. (laughs) Um, Dry, wrinkled skin, that's fixed too. Um, Osteopenia, she has had, she's had to deal with a medical problem which pellets don't fix, which is alopecia. It's an autoimmune disease that uh, damages hair follicles. Uh, She also had weight gain. She also had muscle weakness, fibromyalgia. She was told she had fibromyalgia, although it was really a combination of rheumatoid arthritis mm-hmm. and it was and I don't have low that testosterone. anymore either. <laughs> and so yeah, and so and testosterone does a good job of helping autoimmune diseases. So migraine headaches, hot flashes, and a loss of quality of her life. Yeah. So all of these things have turned around for her. And when I saw her in the office and she was all decked out and she said, Without you this wouldn't have happened. Right. She had just right. she had just won Ms. Missouri Senior. So yes. and that I had to ask you this. Uh. How old do you have to be, since we're not going to yeah. actually explain our age, since I'm 70 yeah. this month and you're 64, Four. Mm-hmm. you have to be 60 You have to, to be compete. 60 to get in this pageant. You need to um, have some type of talent. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you don't think you have talent and you want to belong to this club, you can, but mm-hmm. you got to go through the pageant. Mm-hmm. So you'll have ladies who will help you with, with your talent. Uh, and, and the you, name of the club? Is the, the Cameo Club. Is the Cameo Club. The Cameo Club is, uh, the Missouri Cameo Club puts on the pageant every year. Mm-hmm. Um, we're seeking to, I will crown the new queen, and it's a year gig. It is amazing. I've had so much fun. 
And We've really done a lot for charity and a lot, lot right. for we do a lot. inspiring women right. who feel like their life is it has ended at 50. Right. It isn't. That's no. just the beginning. And I, as I shared with you, I saw an, art, uh, an interview of Kathy Bates mm -hmm. on the uh, Good Morning in, on Channel 4. And she said she began to feel at age 75 invisible. Mm -hmm. And I think... One thing I'd like to just stress is you don't have to be invisible. You can be vibrant, you can be yourself, but and you can be beautiful, vibrant, and you can be your best self. And I always tell people I haven't peaked yet. <laughs> and I don't think you have either. No. <laughs> You're just beginning. Sometimes I am. When after we've, she, she was the a president of a bank. I mean, she's very accomplished. Vice president. It, vice president, excuse me, of a bank and, and in Every area she's accomplished in, in intellectual areas, in social areas, she knows how to have fun. This is a woman we all want to be, but it wasn't easy. No, it was. She had she had so much stress just trying to find an answer to to not feeling well. Right. She had her hysterectomy and had her ovaries out at thirty six. Yeah, and that's <laughs> that is a long time to have no hormones. Right. Then she finally found us, and then we replaced her hormones, and she bloomed. Right. Just and kept blooming and kept getting better and better. And there's just no reason. It's like people... giving a plant plant food, you know. Right. <laughs> you have the right things there, and it works. But you have to do things, too. And you right. have to actually have a wonderful, she, ha she has a wonderful view of life. And I want her to tell you her her view of life, that you are, okay. you are what you told My philosophy. Judges, your yeah. philosophy. So that's another thing. If you're going to be in the pageant, you have to write a 35-second philosophy of life. And my philosophy of life is this. There are no accidents in life. Everything has a purpose for me. And how I choose to react makes all the difference. My experience has taught me lessons in being kind, to think larger than myself, to savor every moment and remember to have fun. But of all the things I've learned, most importantly, is the frailty of life. Planting seeds of goodness in others is the only thing I can leave behind. To live a purpose-filled life is my goal. And the greatest of these is love. And yeah. that's what you have. Yeah. yeah. And so she can tell you a little bit more about how the struggle she went through, although she doesn't want to center on that. I think other people who have had terrible things that they feel has just stopped their life, mm -hmm. they need to hear how right. you've conquered it right. because it's not easy. No. It may look like she's beautiful, it was easy, everything came to her, it didn't. Nothing no. came to her just given to no. her. She worked for every single right. thing. I was not born of natural beauty. I will tell you, I have the pictures to prove it. You wouldn't look like this without natural beauty, but okay, go ahead. Uh, no, it is true. I had to work very hard at trying to make the inside match the what I wanted the outside to look like. And I, I do feel like that maybe uh, I'm there as far as that goes. Um, I do feel like we always must strive as humans, as women. You know, we, we have to set the example for our, our daughters mm -hmm. and our granddaughters that, yes, I am getting older, but I'm not a relic. I'm not, not useful. I have a lot to offer still. And to be able to have the medical tools that I have to be able to accomplish what I want to accomplish has been huge. I mean, I would not have been able to think properly to do a job that I needed to do or to even be a loving person that I needed to be without the proper medical tools in my body. And, and it was, and even your medical history, which mm -hmm. I went over last night just to refresh my memory, wasn't without bumps. Oh, yeah. Because, I, I mean, many of the things that she's had to deal with, she, she had rheumatoid arthritis when she started with us, and it, it went into remission when she mm -hmm. got on pellets. Yeah. But it came back. Yeah. And then she had to seek out a rheumatologist who she loved and yeah. took good care of her. And she, and, but. And now it's is, in remission again. It's in remission again. Yeah. So this would not have happened without pellets. However, when we were managing your pellets, we had uh -huh. to go through several different trials. Right. Of different pellets, of different, different, uh, we use testosterone arimidex pellets mm -hmm. because some people, like us, mm -hmm. have a problem with testosterone becoming estrone, mm -hmm. and so we have to block it. Right. And that's something that is a genetic thing. Right. 
not everybody has it, right? but we do. And so we have to manage that a little differently, but we don't know that at the first outset when you first come in. And that's what I tell people all the time who need hormones. Go see Dr. Moppin. As far as I'm concerned, you're a genius because <laughs> you got you got this working. Because the I had the same thing. You do, <laughs> yeah. And, and our own experience mm -hmm. is what makes it real for us. We don't go through hard things in life that we do. We do that to help other people. You I'm do a that firm to learn believer. Something. Yes. I mean, I feel like everybody learns something through every challenge that they have. Right. But for my patients who think that I'm a genius, so I'm going to just fix them <laughs> like that, it doesn't happen just like that. Oh, it's not all on you either. And you don't lose. Yeah. And it's, I have a certain you, amount you of responsibility. It's, it's a, my intention to heal, yeah. your intention to get better. Right. And so those things are always integral. Having said that, there are some people that I can't get perfect like her. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, perfectly managed with hormones and yeah. uh, she and people who aren't don't have the same, I guess, history of trauma that caused her to learn to deal with the bumps in the road. Right, right. She now is married to a wonderful, amazing man who is like her her second love of her life. Uh, right. I didn't know there was possible to have more than one, but yeah. he is, and he says the same thing about me. Um, funny story, we're both connected. Our spouses were lost due to the radioactive waste in St. Louis. I know. His from Coldwater Creek, mine from the Bridgeton Landfill. Mm -hmm. That is, in itself, is just like, how did that and happen? how did you find each other? <laughs> right. We found each other. We lived in a parallel universe for many years, never knew each other. We lived in the same town yeah. until I got involved in the Greater North County Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. He's a former chair. I'm a former chair. Amazing, and so that's how he came. And to you me. have a, you both have a history of giving to the community, right? Donating time, donating money to right. just give to the community to make the community that they live in better, right. which I think is amazing and not you, and not easy. Either. Too much who is given, much is required. Much is required, and I, true. I'm a firm believer of that. You have to give back. That's one of the things I like about our organization. Yeah, we give back. We are a this nonprofit. Is, that um, we do great work. One of the, the best things we do, I love this, because um, we have a group of women, it's called the Impacts, and we, we go to nursing homes, assisted living, senior centers, mm -hmm. and we take a variety show to these people. Oh, awesome. We put an hour-long variety show. We have women who are in their 80s still tap dancing. Oh. That's They're, amazing. And they don't look like it, let me yeah. tell you. And they, they look amazing. Look they? <laughs> and um, they are, uh, including myself, we all put on this great show for everybody. And we salute the military. We That's do. It, it's just, you know, everybody brings their talent to the table. And we perform for these people. Yes, we get, we get compensated for that, just a small amount. It helps support the pageant mm -hmm. and support the club. But at the end of the year, when everything's all said and done, the proceeds that are left over mm -hmm. go to small mom and pop nonprofits. I like to say they're the nose Good. to nose, feet to feet people mm -hmm. who don't get funding from large corporations, mm -hmm. don't get a lot of extra funding. These are people who really are there with that helping hand in the local community. Oh, that's great. So it, it's a great thing. Very important. Yeah, so that was another reason why I got involved in this organization. That's great, because you've been involved in many things. Yep, uh, over the years we have. Mm -hmm. uh, one other thing, I think you elevated the role of queen <laughs> uh, a lot. So I would, and you probably elevated all the women around you because of, of your aura, how, how, who you are, yeah. all your energy. The I know women a secret. that competed with you. Yeah, I know a secret. And that is? The secret is women who lift up other women get lifted up themselves. The mm -hmm. synergy that happens when you begin to say, you're beautiful. Oh, I loved your talent. Mm -hmm. That dress is great. Mm -hmm. I love your shirt. Whatever. You got great fingernails. Whatever. Yeah. The synergy that happens mm -hmm. between women when you do that and somebody else mm -hmm. does that is amazing. I, I agree with that. Yeah. That's very and and yes. And your staff does my because staff they does are that. very much like that. They're very much uplifting yes. of all of our patients. And I I had yesterday I had somebody say, you know, how Wonderful, she felt because I was happy because she was better. Oh, okay. she came in for a second visit, yeah. and I and she had had many symptoms and illnesses, and we'd managed 
not just her hormones, but some other things that were starting to creep up on her. And she was better. She was like, lost weight, felt good. She was having a better relationship mm -hmm. with her husband. And she, she said, you know, you look really happy because I'm good. <laughs> I said, that's what makes me happy. Right. So everybody's got something that makes them really mm -hmm. tick. Looking, looking at my granddaughter makes me tick. Sure. Looking at my daughter succeed makes me yeah. tick. But my patients who are better makes me really tick. Yeah. And that's one of the things that I think women should enjoy the, the success of other women. Right. And many of the times we right. deal with things mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. in a with all these pageants, I was in a pageant Miss Kansas City when oh. I was in, I know, it's a teenager, <laughs> Miss Kansas City Teenage America. Anyway, uh -huh. I was in that and it was so catty. No one was uplifting anybody. Everybody was trying to backstab <laughs> everybody. You don't have that when you get older because you realize that that's just ridiculous. That's right. Do you know I had my daughters, they're in their 40s mm -hmm. and uh, 30s, and they said, okay, we want, the, we want the scoop. We want the real deal. What went on behind the scenes? I'm like... You mean fighting and that kind of stuff? I said, no, there wasn't any of that. We don't have time for that. <laughs> we don't have time for that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We have to make an impact. And all I have experienced from from the get-go, from winning, from being in the local pageant mm -hmm. here to doing the national one is women uplifting others. You're doing a great job. Right. Oh, that was, sounded good. You know, whatever it is. And that is a is a key factor. You do not have to feel intimidated by other women. I also want to ask you about the talent because you told me some cool things about everybody has a talent. And I mm -hmm. agree with that. Yeah. Everybody has a talent. Something. It may not, it may be a talent for uplifting other women. It may be a talent for healing. It yeah. may be, but it may be a talent you can actually show yeah. for the, for this competition. And so you were telling me about your, your I sang. talent. Yeah. She sings and she sings beautifully. So this is a, a wonderful talent to share, but she also had who didn't have performing talents. talent. And they found our our group of ladies in the cameo club found talent. They know how to find the talent in mm -hmm. you. And we had uh, a woman who did sugar art. She, this was she competed all over. Uh, so and she was the first runner up. I love that sugar art. To explain that. Well, they're they're pieces that are made to go on cakes. They're very intricate. Mm -hmm. And um, Roxanne is my very dear friend now. She uh -huh. lives in Kansas City, but she was first runner up. We became such good friends. And um, she realizes, as do I, everything has a purpose, and things happen for a reason. And Even bad things. Bad things Good happen. Things, bad things. Every it's everything all. Everything is meant to make you a better person and to lift right. you up and others. Right. And as I told you, our destiny is all of the experience that we've had preparing us for a certain particular point when opportunity strikes, and mm -hmm. that the crosshairs of those two things is your destiny. Probably when you were singing and you were very young, uh, you never thought you would be never. In a Pageant. Like I never this. thought about a pageant ever <laughs> my whole life. I just didn't feel like I had the right body shape. I didn't have the looks. You know, as a young woman, I, I certainly didn't have the looks. I, I was heavy, had crooked teeth, and uh, <laughs> now I have beautiful yes, teeth, thanks to my dentist. You do. But. You have teeth. <laughs> so, so, all of those things that we don't even, we, we encourage our young people to do things that we know they're never going to use again, maybe, right. maybe. Maybe. But oftentimes, we do use them again. Right, so you do. doing, um, my daughter did one um, talent a talent contest over the whole country for her age group, uh -huh. and she was she was offered roles in in doing sitcoms because uh -huh. she won sitcom. And I I'm uh, like, I didn't right. know you were funny. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> you never know. You know? And you know? so and she she had second in headshot and overall uh -huh. in her age group in L A. She she won the she won the um, entertainment and modeling. Right. So here she is. Now she is a doctor. Yeah. Now she does what we I do. Uh -huh. Now she's part a partner. And she uses she a lot of her She went in the talent. family business. Yes, yeah, she went in the family <laughs> business. And now she uses her talent to uh, promote the business, mm -hmm. pr take care of her patients. She she understands what that life is like. Yeah. And I was so mean I didn't go to drop everything and go to California with her. But she yeah. forgave me for that. Yeah. <laughs> she, so so that she could not finish that. But that all ties in to what we do today. Right. right. Everything so. has a purpose for us. And all of the experience that we have, good and bad, mm -hmm. because there's a lot of bad. 
And I've always tried to take the bad and say, okay, there's something here I got to learn. Mm -hmm. I really don't want to have to go through this again. You know, right. unfortunately, let me learn it so I don't do it again. again right. Yeah. Sometimes you do go through them more than one time. You know, I'd like to think that um, I'll never go through the death of a spouse again. Mm -hmm. But the reality is I might. I have a 50-50 chance. Mm -hmm. Or we could be like on the notebook and just curl up in bed and die. Yeah. But I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think that's reality. Yeah, either. it's not. I don't not. think we get to choose. It's not. And it's one of those things that you think about occasionally when you've you're doing it the second time around. I, th I think without you dreaming and without your husband telling yeah. you you could do this, right. then the dream plus the reinforcement right. help pave the way. Right. I've had wonder wonderful mentors in my life, in my career, as well as my spouses. Both of them were very, my first husband um, was very uplifting. Mm -hmm. He he told me one time, he said, Darla, I knew you could do a lot of good in this world. Why would I want to put you under my thumb? He said, mm -hmm. I want you to get out there and be the best you you could be to make a difference in this world. So he can be proud of you. So, you know, it's with awesome. that, why not? You yeah. know, that's just get out there and get after it. Everybody should have that influence. It may not be our spouse. It may be our teacher. It may be yeah. our parent. It may be right. the next door neighbor. Right. I had a next door neighbor who was very uplifting right. when I grew up. And so... That, we, you have to look at other people and think how you can affect their lives, right. but also who's affected your life. You might not always get it at home. Your parents mm -hmm. might not always give it to you. Right, because they don't know how. Yeah. They may not know how, or they may have, be worried about right. something else. That's not something to be sad about. That's no, you to, just find just, it elsewhere. Right. And, and now I have different. a whole group of women that are their mothers to me, their sisters, mm -hmm. their, their aunts, their, you know, their everything. Your adopted family. Uh, they are. And, um, you know, that was one of the coolest things about going through the national competition. Mm -hmm. I had daily emails from more than one, or text, you know, saying, mm -hmm. you know, you're doing good. I saw your preliminaries oh, and, you awesome. know, all these wonderful things. But, you know, I did not place. I, I, but you are Ms. Missouri. So. Right. <laughs> and, uh, but that was not my intention. Mm -hmm. My intention was fourfold. To do my best, number mm -hmm. one, I did. To meet incredible women my age, mm -hmm. I did. To have a good time, I did. <laughs> and to experience a once-in-a-lifetime event and opportunity, and I did. And I actually came home feeling like I had won the world. I bet you did. And, and you because did. I did all those things. Yeah, you did. Yeah. And I made the club proud by doing my best. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's all you can ask for. Yeah, that's all we can ask for in life is, right. is to be success in our own eyes and the people that love us in their eyes as well. Highly functioning women like we are mm -hmm. seem to be much harder on ourselves mm -hmm. than others are on us. If they only knew how hard I am on me, I want to make sure I'm doing the right thing mm -hmm. all the time. And that pushes us. It does. It does push us. That pushes us. And, but I want, I want everyone out there that is listening to know that you can be everything you can be right. with a little help from maybe hormones. Yes. But in general, almost everyone needs them after yes. they're 50. Listen, it was a lot of help for me because <laughs> every one of those symptoms you read off, mm -hmm. other than the alopecia, that's yeah. irreversible. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm very open. I'm a wig wearer. I love wigs. And I have lots of women reach out to yeah, me Yeah, and they look, always look great. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> they do not look like wigs. <laughs> no, but, they don't. Um, but my, uh, you know, all of those symptoms are gone. It, and that, that makes me so happy. <laughs> and I am an empowered 64-year-old woman who still has not peaked yet. And we'll keep watching. <laughs> we'll have you back when you get your next, you do your next, next thing. thing. <laughs> Sounds and wonderful. And we all will watch, or how will we watch your, you crowning the next Miss Missouri? Um, Ms. Missouri. The pageant will be uh, the last Sunday of April okay. next year. Mm -hmm. So that will be the day that we crown the new queen. Okay. Um, they don't, I don't think we'll be doing a live, but they will be putting some things out there. Okay. Um, you can get me on Facebook, Darla Tinker Bellman. Like me, I will. Tinker Bell. Yeah. Tinker Bellman. Uh -huh. You can remember that. <laughs> and, so um, I, I post a lot about what I do, uh, where I'm going. Uh, coming up uh, Saturday, I have a fashion show to take part in at the Maryland Heights Community wow. Center. Awesome. Uh, the following Saturday, I'll be singing the national anthem for the Alzheimer's Walk. And wow. follow that by another fashion show at Chico's at West County. 
So amazing! What? How fun! It's fun. I have. I'm having the time of my life. And it's a lot of fun. It's what we all want. Yep. Thank you for listening. We hope you all were inspired today. We'll see you next week. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the Biobalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth.